well, <laughs> the crazy Hollywood family started opening their ass in public again. The Smiths. A bunch of weirdos, man. So, the son of Will Smith, Jaden, did an interview a couple of weeks ago where he stated that Jada, his mom, introduced the family to psychedelic drugs. I... <laughs> Mad. I mean, like, is this for real? Well, I believe that though, because she's a demon. She's like literally a demon. So, he said Jada Pinkett Smith was the first to introduce psychedelic drugs into their family, according to a 24 year old son, Jaden Smith. He said, quote, I think my mom, actually, that was really the first one to make the step. For the family. Jaden said of Jada, who's 51 years old, while speaking at the Psychedelic Science Conference, Psychedelic Conference? Huh. In Denver, Colorado on Friday. According to the USA Today, all right, all right. It was just her for a really, really long time. And then eventually it just trickled and evolved and everybody found it on, <laughs> found it on their own. Okay. So you're telling me a mother, what kind of mother gives your kids drugs? A 24 year old said, the drugs, which are mainly illegal in the US, have given him more empathy, especially with his siblings. <laughs> oh my lord, look, look, look at this demon right here. Look at this, look, look see, 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 a bunch of weirdo. They, Men have to be very, very, very careful who they reproduce with. I can't say this, like, I can't emphasize this enough, right? Especially if you're a businessman or if you're someone that works a lot. You're always away. You're never around. You have to really know how to pick a woman because that woman is going to instill the tools that kid needs in life, that woman is really going to mold the child because you are not there all the time because you are busy working trying to provide for the family. So if you have a cantankerous woman, the demon like this that hates you, she's going to take the, the child is going to be hers because we all know children have this feeling for their mothers anyways. But when you have a evil woman like this, she's going to turn the children against you. It doesn't matter if you're providing, if you're a good provider, if you're a good husband or whatever. If she detests you for some reason, she's going to cling, take the children and cling towards her. They're going to be her children. She's like a black widow. These children, are, these children are going to be hers. They're hers because she can't do no wrong. Imagine this guy here brings his friends over to sleep with her, with, with his mother. Are you serious? And then they go on a red table talk in public and talk about it with Will Smith crying like a baby over there. And this one, this weirdo here, Jaden, and the sister are over there sitting, watching their mother buck break their father. It's <laughs> it's like a bad Hollywood script. But this is what really happened. What? And you have some women going, oh, I really want to have this type of relationship that Will Smith and Jaden Smith have. Because that's true love. Where a woman can sleep up and, and the man still forgives her. Will Smith is a cock, man. Only a modern woman like this can turn Hancock to a bloody cock. I just, ooh, no wonder Pac didn't want nothing to do with this. You know you're evil when even Kim Kardashian don't want nothing to do with you. Kim Kardashian said, man, she doesn't like her energy. And she wanted to be her friend, friend with the Kardashians, but they had to just slowly, slowly, slowly drift away from her because they didn't like her energy. The Kardashians didn't like your energy? Those people? What does that say about you? If the Kardashians don't want nothing to do with you, those demons saw an even greater demon and they're like, oh no, we can't, no, no, mm -mm -mm. let's get out of here, man. Are you serious? So Jaden said, siblings can argue so much and fight so much. And Lord knows, me and my siblings have done so much of that in the past, Jaden said, of his sister Willow, who's 22 years old, and his brother Trey. But the level of love and empathy that I can feel for them inside of a psychedelic experience and outside of the experiences has been something that's profound and beautiful. Is it, does it sound like a normal human being to you? 
the mom introduced them to drugs and now I was talking about how psychedelics is the way to go. <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, he said that doing the drugs together helps them and it opens their minds to get out of the old ways of thinking that got us into lots of these arguments and open it up so there's just releases and makes room for you to work it out uh, <laughs> and massage it out until it's completely gone. <laughs> Oh my lord. Look at them. Look at these weirdos. She is 22 years old. What 22 years old is going to take a picture with their father dressed like this? Tits out and everything. Right next to her father. And this one here look drugged up with a pink multicolored nonsense here. Well, you all know he's came out as trans whatever, trans sexual or like bisexual or whatever i don't know so this one is a weirdo this one is a weirdo the two kids he had with the demon are weirdos because she made them weirdos because why the main reason why all this happened because he will smith is weak very weak like growing up, if you know his story in the book and all that, that they wrote, his dad used to have an issue with his mom because the mom was kind of like a cantankerous woman like this. His mom was like Jada and the dad got into lots of fights with her and used to beat her a lot. And so the mom, his mom, took him kind of away from the dad, right? So he became a mommy's boy, of course, having to, a lot of animosity towards his father. So when he became a movie star and all that, he married a good woman. The good woman, the first woman he married, gave birth to this guy, Trey, who's 30 years old now. He is normal because his mother is normal. She is a good woman. But he, Will Smith didn't want the good woman. He left the good woman, his mom, for Jada, which was a representation of his mom. So he left the good woman and married his mother. And this is the result. Little sibling, little uh, mini demon and another mini demon. And he's going to regret this forever. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen this tray in any shenanigans ever guy is a dj living his life just being cool did you see him in the red table talk when they were having their nonsense buck breaking this dude he wasn't there <laughs> marry a good woman marry a good woman if you are going to marry i'll still tell you do not do it in the west go somewhere else find go somewhere else anywhere else go to the middle east go to asia somewhere go to africa well not just africa go to the rural africa the villages because we all know these mentalities get in africa as well marry a good woman man <sighs> can't say that enough guys